Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Starting off today's vlog with getting rid of all the Christmas decor. It is currently January 11th, so we're definitely into the new year and I still have not taken down the Christmas tree. Um, I, I even have a Halloween pumpkin sitting around. We just like need to redecorate everything and I wanna do Valentine's shelves with you guys. It'll be really fun. So if you guys are interested in today's vlog, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, make sure you guys subscribe and let's get started. I do wanna mention that this sweatshirt that I'm wearing is from My Oh My Supply Co. and they are releasing this sweatshirt on Friday, which I believe is the day that this video is going up. So if you guys are interested, you guys can use my code Cassie10. It's inspired by um, Princess Diana. And I just, I don't know, my, my Supply Co. is one of my favorite Disney small shops. And I just feel like they do such a good job with their sweatshirts. Like the quality, the designs are so minimal. And I'm obsessed. That should be first priority is to get rid of this tree. Also got requests to do a what I got for Christmas video. And it's obviously now January 11th. So I'm like, I feel like it's too late to kind of do one and the reason why I didn't do it was because my family actually had COVID for Christmas so I didn't get to see a lot of my family members. I still haven't seen a lot of my family members because of that so I like haven't done my exchanges with most of them so I'm just kind of like I don't know if there's even like a point in even doing it anymore but let me know your thoughts. Um, I feel like it wouldn't be for like another month that I do that video so I don't know, let me know what you think. Maybe I can just like include it in a vlog or something. Also, kind of like a little life update is that it has been pouring in the Bay Area. In my area, it's been raining a lot at night. The rain hasn't been too bad during the day, which is nice, but because it's so gloomy, I don't even like wanna film. Like yesterday, I had a full day of like I'm gonna film content and like do all this stuff and then I just didn't do it because I just like the weather was just really affecting me like I just felt so not excited to do anything yeah there's certain parts in the bay that are like really bad like there's flooding everywhere like our highways a lot of them are closed if you are from the bay area I hope you are staying safe and Hopefully there isn't much flooding where you are. What a great way to start off 2023, right? Also just kind of like adjusting, getting back into work. I picked up a couple more hours at work. And so like I'm teaching more classes and just kind of getting in the swing of things because it was our first week back. And so I'm just like getting used to teaching more, I guess, and balancing content creation. So it's just been, an interesting time but it's been overall good like I really don't have anything to complain about anyways I'm gonna keep doing this and then I will um, talk to you guys in a bit put all of this stuff away all of like the Christmas tree and decor around my room now we're gonna tackle the shelves which is like always the most fun part I pulled out all of the pink, purple, and red bags that I had in my closet and I just threw them on my bed. I'm gonna take these down. I also just have like random stuff everywhere. Like, why are these ears here? Because I filmed a video and I never put it away. Just have a bunch of just like random stuff. Well, we're gonna get rid of these blue ones for sure. It's the Christmas tree. Gingerbread. We're also gonna get rid of this one. Goodbye, Pocahontas. So I think we're gonna put the red sequin up here. This red, um, like a Minnie Mouse one. I think that's cute. I feel like I usually put those together. Also, I haven't shown you guys my nails. Look at these nails. I got these pink nails. I took off the red. We have these. And you guys, what's so crazy is that these are my actual nails. I usually get acrylics, like I've literally have been getting acrylics for years. And do gel X because I've heard that's like better for your nails and I want to try it out. But the lady at the salon said to do, I think she called it like gel base or basin basin gel or something like that. And so that's what she did for my nails and it's literally my natural nails. Like two or three of them are fake because they weren't long enough to match the rest of them. But how cute, and I changed the shape. We have coffin, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the coffin. I used to be like a hardcore coffin girly, and then I went to Almond and I never went back, and now we're back to coffin, but I'm not sure how I feel. I might need to go back to Almond next time I go, but 
pink nails for Valentine's Day. It's my favorite time of year <laughs> because everything is pink and it just makes me so happy. Anyways, I'm gonna continue. with the shelves like, I feel like I kind of have like the base going on but I just pulled these out because I want to add them to um, the shelves I know I had some questions on how I cut the bow off so I'm just gonna show you guys I don't know I just feel like it kind of ruins it so each pair of ears is different like, these ears are like the bow is sewn on but there are other ears where they're glued on for example my Tea on the white tea on it ears that I have with the feather, they were hot glued. Um, the bubble bar seashell aerial ears, those were hot glued. So I just used a blow dryer to remove the bow on the ones that are hot glued, if that makes sense. But for these, all you need are just like little scissors. You basically, have to just pull it super tight to try and get the strings. I don't really know if you're able to see very well, but I usually use like, you know, like those mini scissors that you use for like your eyebrows. Like, I don't know where mine are. So I have to use these big ones. So if you pull it super tight, you can kind of see like the little strings. So those are the ones that you're gonna cut off. Okay, and then once you cut one, like the rest of them, will loosen and I just pulled it off. And then for like the rest of these threads, you can just pull them out. Those are the ears. I think these look way cuter and I don't have a pair of pink, um, what's it called? Mickey ears, all of mine have like the little bows. So now I have a pair of pink Mickey ears and I think they look much better this way. So I'm really happy about these. Super easy to do. Sometimes some bows ruin the ears, like they just don't match the ears as much as they should, if that makes sense. It's just better to cut them off. I have these little Funkos that I got from Very Nico. They're like really cute Valentine's ones. I think they're still available on the website if you guys want them. I got them last year, but I think they're so cute and they have so many different options if you guys want to get them. This video is not sponsored, but I just wanted to show you guys. I am going to use them to decorate. The shelves are officially done. I'm gonna show you what I've done. I'm not sure if I'm obsessed with all of them, but I'm gonna show you what I have. At the top, we have this red shelf. She needs an outfit. She's currently naked, so ignore her. But there is the red shelf. Next, I have my little Marie shelf. This is so cute. Wait, I have a Marie candle. Let me grab it. I usually keep this candle on my desk, but now I can bring her back. I'm not sure if it's too much to have all the Marie. Maybe it's cute though. Okay, but you know, love Marie, so I always have to her some love. Next, we have this shelf, which super bright, lots of hot pink going on. And then I also didn't have enough like darker colors to put here, so I ended up adding these ears, but I'm not sure if that's like throwing off the vibe. Also, ignore that strap. And then here's the Vader Funko down here. This shelf, I don't know. Something about it is just off. I feel like it has to be this white backpack. But then again, like, I don't know what else to put with this bag. This one's really cute because it has, like, little hearts. And it did come out for Valentine's Day. So I definitely want to use this bag. But I don't know. Something about it is off. Also, if I had, like, the rose gold lounge fly, the sequin one, I feel like that would be perfect with this bag. But the all white is just kind of throwing me off. I don't know. Let me know your ideas below. This shelf usually stays the same. But it's just, like, my purple shelf, purples and blues. And then I have the purple sequined lounge fly down here. On the other shelf, we have these bags, which I think look really cute together. There's the Riviera lounge fly, and this one I believe is from Pink a la Mode, and then I put this candle from Target, and I know it's not Easter yet, but I just think it's really cute there. Very, very pink. 
We have this bag, and then we have these pink ears, which I'm obsessed with. Down we have these pink and purple bags. Um, this one's from Very Nico, and so is this, so this one. So these are both from Very Nico, actually. And then I just put this planter that I got from Target last year. I don't know if I really like it there, but... I think it works for now. I didn't know what else to put in the middle of that. We have the Cinderella shelf. She made a comeback, my favorite shelf ever. Happy to have her back. Down here, we have the Vader lounge fly, which I think is so cute for Valentine's Day. And more neutral ears, this Funko Pop. These are basically what the shelves are looking like. I feel like it looks good, but let me know if you have any ideas and I can switch them up for the next vlog. But I wanted to show you guys some PR boxes that I've had and they've been sitting here for a while so let's do a little unboxing. These packages have been sitting here for like two weeks. I've been waiting to like film it and I just I'm telling you it's been really hard for me to get back into like a routine of filming after taking such a long break. First package is from Bubble Bar. I feel like I know what it is because I believe I requested to receive this if it's the thing that I hope it is. <gasps> yes! It's the Snow White Ears. You guys know that I've been wanting these. Well, actually, I don't know if you know, but I have been wanting these for a while. I asked them very nicely. I was like, can you guys send me this? And I'm so excited that they did because I want to put together some really cute looks with these Snow White Ears. You guys know I love bubble bar ears in general. So here's what they look like. Thank you so much, Bobble Bar, for sending these to me. Like, <gasps> they are so cute. This is from Castle Crystals. They're the brand that sends me, like, pop sockets. Like, those really cute Disney ones that are, like, bedazzled. Also sent me sunglasses. Like, her shop is so cute. And she rhinestones everything by hand. You guys know my struggle with rhinestoning my Wanda Vision ears. I have so much respect for people that run businesses off of bedazzling because that is not easy and it's so time consuming and her attention to detail is so like perfect that like I just have so much respect for her after trying to do it myself. I'm now a brand ambassador for her so that just means that she's gonna send me like her new items and um, I believe I have a code. I will have it in the description because I don't know what it is at the top of my head. I decided to be an ambassador for her shop because I'm telling you her stuff is so freaking cute. Like the pink and the red for Valentine's Day. Oh, my code is Cassie10 if you guys want to use it, um, but I'm so excited. Like, I feel like this is too cute to even open it right now. Like, I kind of feel like I need to, like, film a whole unboxing. But look, sneak peek, we have some sunglasses. Look like this. These are heart-shaped sunglasses with these rhinestones. And I do have a pink pair and... A white pair from her shop and now I have like a whole look in mind that I want to do with these the ideas are flowing these are so cute love these and her little case is like hot pink and it says castle crystals on it super cute we have some keychains we have this keychain which is a pink smiley face we have this Elsa crown keychain which you guys know I love Elsa we also have this Olaf pop socket which will be so cute on my Olaf phone case we also have a pink smiley face with like little heart eyes. We'll show you guys the rest of that package on my IG stories or on TikTok. So make sure you guys are following me there so you don't miss it. Thank you so much Castle Crystals for sending that over. You guys can use my code Cassie10. Next package that we have is actually the dress that I'm gonna wear to the wedding. So if you guys watched I think it was like two videos ago I said that I'm going to a Disney wedding which is so exciting and the wedding is in a couple of weeks but I wanted to actually I think it's like next week but I wanted to show you guys the dress that I ordered and I'm hoping that it fits me because 
I really don't have another option. I realize that I don't really have dresses that aren't just like summer dresses. Like I don't have like event dresses because I don't really go to events. So like there's no need for me to have one. Here's the dress that I picked out. I feel like it's not really doing it justice right now. It's from Windsor store and it has like a slit. Should I try it on right now? Probably should just to see if it fits. And then I don't know what shoes I'm gonna take, so I need to figure that out. What the dress looks like. I was actually scared it wasn't gonna fit because there's no zipper. And I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to squeeze into it, but we made it work. My only issue, I'm not sure if it's like too close to my skin tone. Like a rose gold color dress, but like, I don't know if it blends too much into my skin tone that I don't, like you can't even tell, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on it. Like, should I go for like a darker color? Because I don't know. I also don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear, so that's a problem. And I probably should have ordered another dress, but clearly I wasn't thinking. Um, I might go back on the Windsor website and see if they have any other options, but I really like Windsor. I actually ordered my prom dress from Windsor back in the day. I have like a more affordable dresses, you know? The last package that we're gonna open is from Loungefly. And they sent this huge box, you guys. It's humongous. I'm gonna show you everything. I kind of already opened everything the other day, but I'm just gonna show you what is in here because there's so much. So the first thing we have is this pink Cinderella sweatshirt, which is super cute. Let me try it on. Kind of cute. Okay. I feel like it's a little too big for me though. Monsters Inc. one. The same exact kind of style, but it's Monsters Inc. theme. They also sent this lounge fly, which I don't even know what. It is Rescue Rangers. I don't know. There's like a bunch of different characters on here. There's a matching wallet. Don't need more lounge flies. You guys already know this. So if you guys would like to win this lounge fly, all you have to do is just subscribe to this channel and like this video and comment anything and then you will be entered into the giveaway. That is this launch fly. So if you guys want to win this and the wallet, just follow those rules. Also sent these two cups and this beanie. There's literally so much stuff in here. And this pin. So thank you so much for sending me all of those things. That is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe for more and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.